The following is a short tutorial on how to import over content in your home pages from last year's D2L page to this year's D2L page. So to start though, I'm going to show you how to find your current D2L page. You're going to go to the waffle menu and inside the waffle menu, all you have to do is type 2021. That's the year. And you will see when you hit enter, it searches all the 2021. So you should have a staff page and your class page. You can see the class page is right here. Just a little note, I would put a pin in it. What the pin does is add it to this quick display menu from the first page you get when you log in. So once you're in here you can either just click on here or click on here and once inside here you're going to see you have what we call like a default home page so it doesn't really have any of the bells and whistles that you were used to the year before and it doesn't have any content but it's really easy to bring in. Um, I'll just show you step by step how to do it. So you're going to go to course admin this is where all like the background tools for D2L are, so you can come in here and have a look. But what the one you're looking for is this one that says Import, Export, Copy Components. So you're just going to click on that. Once you click on that, there's a lot of different things you can do on here. But to start, you want to click on this Search for Offerings. That's basically searching for the different classes you've taught. You can pull in from any year. Um, so if we click on search for offerings, we have to find last year's class. Now, just like for this year, I typed in 2021. If I type in 1920, that will give me last year's classes. So you'll see it will do a search and then just make sure that you have the right class. So this is the one I want to pull from. I just check that off and then add to select. So once I've done that and it's found my class, you'll see that it's right here. You'll get the choice. Do you want to copy all components over or just select components? Most of the time you just want to do select components. It allows you to not bring over everything, just certain things that you would really want. But if you did want everything, that would be the button. So I'm going to click select components. And what you're going to see is it generates a list of everything within the course. And you can go down and pick whatever you want. So I don't really need calendar items, but I do want the content. So within the content folders, I want those folders. And you'll see here there's different options. So copy all items or select individual items. So say there's only certain folders I want in content, I can click on this. So I'm going to click on that to show you what it looks like. Keep this clicked off. You want to include all associate files. So then you just keep going down and you say course files. I always click off course files. These are like these background files that you don't know if you need or not. Um, even if it says like there's 3,000 of them, it doesn't matter just bring those all over. Um, if you were to use the discussions, you can bring those over. If you had discussions set up in D2L, it cleans all the discussions out. So there's no, um, there's not other discuss, there's not the other student work in those discussions. I don't really want to bring those over. I don't want to bring grades over. Um, I do, however, want to bring over the home pages. So I'm going to select the individual items to copy. This is important if this is why you're doing it because you really want to take note of the name that you're pulling over. Um, in terms of announcements, I don't want to bring those announcements over. I'm not going to reuse them. But at any point, if I had one in um, this class that I wanted to bring over, I could do that at any point during the year. So I'm just going to leave that off. And widgets are important. If you have a home page with um, widgets that you've created, you're going to want to bring over the widgets. And again, you can select them, but I'm just going to bring them all over for now. So then I just hit continue. And make sure when you're hitting these blue buttons, you're clicking like one at a time because you don't want to skip a step. So I can go through here and pick what modules I need, right? So I'm actually going to select them all. Um, but I could just pick one or two if I wanted to, but I just will pull them all over. And I'm going to hit continue. And you'll see here are my home pages. Now, this is the part that people have the most difficulty. If I was doing this and I was you, I would write down the home pages that I was importing over, like the name of them, because you're going to have to find them and apply them. So let's just say I'm going to bring over both of them um, just because I'm not sure which one it is. I'll show you how to check that. Then you're going to continue. And once you get to here, once it says confirm components, you can go in here, change it if you wanted to go back. But here's the big one. When you click finish, make sure you only click it once. And I'll show you, because if you click it twice, you'll get double that inside your page. So I'm going to click it once, and you'll see it's got that little gray box pop up. That means that it's processing and coming over. You can see that it's copying in progress. Now, you don't have to stay in 
this page right now, you could go back to your home page by clicking on this and you're going to see that this content is starting to come over. So there's all the content folders that she's, we've added for her. But one thing you're going to notice is the home page hasn't changed. The widgets aren't there. Nothing's really there. And this is where people kind of get confused because they're like, well, I imported it over. It must not have came over. Well, the thing with home pages is you have to apply them. You just can't import them over and they don't automatically apply. Like in this scenario, I've brought over two different home pages. So it doesn't know which one to pick. So it just doesn't pick them. So what you would do then is you just scroll to the bottom and you'd click on these three dots. You would manage home pages. And when you're managing home pages, you, you would see that there's different ones inside of here. One little trick is see how this one says it's not shared. That means it's not being used. But this one, because I have this on my paper right now, this is grade 7, 10 math and science homepage. You can see it's active. So all I would need to do is I always recommend making a copy of it. So this one has a copy made of it. But you just need to go in here and hit this one that says the a home page you're looking for and then apply it this is what people forget to do they actually pick this home page and get it in here but they don't realize that they have to drop this down select it and then apply it that is what tells d2l that that's the home page you want to use so now when i click on here you can see that within here Here's all the widgets that were used last year and all of the widgets that were created for D2L are now inside this course and her content browsers here. So anything, the, the way you had your page set up last year is the way it's going to look right now. And that's pretty much it. But remember, at any point in the year, you can go back and get anything you worked on in D2L from last year or previous years using that course administration import export feature. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to import over your content and home pages from previous years.